<sighs> Damn you. He's parried like three attacks in a row from Bosch. These stairs up there, do they take me up or do they take me down, I wonder? I think it's up. Because I don't trust the amount of high potions I have, my priority is to get through this area more so than anything else. He seems to be like he, he doesn't. He always parries. He parries Barsh's attack more than any other. I think this takes me up to another floor. So I feel like there's got to be a boss battle with these same restrictions as well. Then what the hell am I going to do? Yeah, we're still in the field. And we're still on the 63rd floor. I swear we went upstairs. How does that work? It's time to see level 50 for the first time. Oh boy. This might be too much for us to handle. These three together. If I could just take the first one down, then I have a good chance of running away and living to fight another day. So, I mean, we're just about able to keep up with the healing. There we go. It feels like... The high potions are about to run out any second. And then I'm fucked. Does this take me? Wait, does that take me back to where I started? I think it does. Back out here again. These guys are fairly weak. Well, they're just failing to steal. It's 
three here. Let's see what happens. This is a rare game, I'm in trouble. There we go. Bamboo arrows. Maybe there's one on the other side that I can get to as well. There's, uh, but there's two of those guys. Fuck it. Damn. <laughs> no choice. Might even be better off going totally the other way. These single abaddons aren't an issue. At least I'm very slowly but surely recharging the quickening. Maybe it'll come in useful. very intriguing part of the game. I've liked this so far, it's been a whole different kind of challenge. There isn't, I don't have like an equipment that gives me any kind of auto regen, does it? I'm trying to see if I have any elemental absorption. I do not. Yeah. I don't know if their attacks have a dark effect. That's interesting. In order to test this out, let me have Pinello on the front line. Okay, might be a little bit of a risk, but I just want to see what happens when the Crusaders attack Pinello. Oh shit, we've only got five high potions left. Oh boy. Still got 91 Phoenix down, so I think I'll go with that. I need to get out of this place soon. Son of a bitch, man. If 
Fucking Reaver. Yeah, fuck this. Pinello just can't do the damage necessary here. Got a fair bit of LP though, which is nice. Uh, prefer to go through this way. This will give me a quicker exit. Okay, we killed it quick. It was about to hit us with Fire Arca. Okay, we're really nearing the end of our resources now. Shit's getting critical. Ah, oh, shit, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I have to go through the bit with the two... Ah... <sighs> Does this mean... Okay. I can summon if I want. Okay. What is that? I don't like the idea of traps, but I can't equip everyone with something that keeps them away from traps, so... I'm not really sure how to approach this. This is a weak one. pace as well. If he does that pulsar wave thingy, then you're fucked. Yeah, gonna have to start rinsing them feelings down, so there's not much we can do. This guy's just dancing like Michael Jackson around all of my attacks, for fuck's sake. Okay. And they all have protect, or shell, or haste. final room before we can get to the next level. one of the biggest factors here has been that I haven't been able to steal any potions. I was fully expecting that because I can't use magic here, these enemies will be dropping potions like easily, but it hasn't happened. I feel like I deserve a save sphere. Oh wait, yes. 
guess where I'm headed. Dear Lord, thank you. Okay, I saved and I also took a mini break while I was out as well. Now, I was thinking while while doing that, I remember the old Final Fantasy X trick of using weapons that have a certain uh, elemental affinity and then hitting people with them in order to heal them. So give them absorptive armors and then heal with that. So, let me see what kind of elements I can hit people with and what elements I can absorb with. So... So literally the only combination I've found so far is the Sage Ring plus uh, the Holy Lance. I've not found any other combination. Actually, wait a minute. On hit regen. Now, we'll give her that plus we'll give her the sage ring okay let's test out this while we're near a save sphere yes I can heal her like that okay gambits um, oof. I guess I have to do it manually because there's no such thing as when Pinello has less than 50% HP yeah, I feel like I'll probably have to just attack Pinello manually. Let me just roll with this for a little while and see what happens. See if it, if it gets totally confusing and I, and I just screw up as a result. Ignorant child, blessed with life on clay below. All that lived and ever shall are as nothing before the undying. Ugh, the undying, man. They've been taunting us for hours. Need to get our hands on them. See how undying they really are. What was the line? There's no such thing as forever if you end it. Or something like that. So yeah, I think we have come to the third of the three boss battles. Yeah. Okay, let's see what awaits here. Ignorant child, crawling through life on clay below. All that lived and ever shall, by Guru Vagan's grace to prosper, now and forever. Okay, with no high potions left, let's go for a boss battle. Oh wait, no. There was no inscription. Okay, fine. There's still a little bit more to go before that. I was thinking about giving Penelo a bubble belt, and I remember that she needed the accessory for absorption. That is for... I can't remember if that was a high level one or a mid level one. I think it's high level. It's definitely high level. 104. But most of the guys here are weak to holy, so I'm not sure if it's the right idea to change it over at the moment. Okay, nice. Here we go. Ahead, the watch awaits, third of three. Ye who crave wealth, return whence you came. No turning back now. Last boss battle was a total disappointment. Let's see what happens now. I like the look. 
Okay, so still we don't have any magic. That's important. So we can't use the spell as a spell. We basically have to have to rely on moats for everything that we're going to do here. Let me get Pinello to hit everyone, give everyone regen from the start of the battle. While we're here. Fenrir. Haste, bravery, protect. He's got the lot. Let's begin with a nice dispel moat to set things off. Let's also... I think Redis really needs a bubble moat here. Silence is not a big deal. Although we're getting hit with blind, which might be a big deal. Let's see. Forget Echo Herbs, let's go for Eye Drops instead. Yeah, none of those are going to help. I think... I might, I might be better off upgrading my katana here. I've got the points for it, so I might as well use it. At least it will give me some combo potential as well. Ah, but then I don't have the healing trick. Ah. Fuck it. Let's go for the hardcore damage first. Then we'll see from there. Give her a bubble belt. Alright, I think we can let loose now. Let's see what happens. Okay. Pinello, you can stop doing that now. I might as well give her the... Guns 5. Let's use some X potions in this battle if we really need it. Alright, let's go. Okay, he's got elemental protection. Alright, now we can resume properly. Wow, even Pinello's doing good damage here. Trying to see if there's a nice moat here that we can use, but there isn't really. If I was to get this off before I die, it would do a nice amount of damage. But screw it. Alright, what's this going to do? Okay, not too bad. He needs to be the one using X potions, not... Pinello. At this stage, it's not really... We're just going to have to start using Phoenix Downs. Wow. 
Ah, oh, shit, there's a chest in there. I didn't see it. Still no magics. I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to go back and save quickly here. In case there isn't another save sphere. So does this mean that after I go through this door my magics will be restored? I hope so. Otherwise I'm going to have to like teleport back to the beginning or something. Still no magics. Damn it. Hey, girl. Explosion, nice. Okay, so I think with this one I'm going to get my magic back. Altar of Steel. So be that you get no weapons either, you're just gonna have to spit your enemies until they drown. Steel avails you not. There we go. Characters cannot attack. God damn. Pilgrim impelled to heaven's heights. Sky would keep your course. In Vessel of Sky now make your way. Reaching this place your worth proven. The path for you shall open. You who call the Vessel of Sky, who would climb higher still. This vessel's way is now master to ascend. Through ways untrodden pass but one. Through ways then known move unhindered. Okay. Ah, okay. So I can alternate between the two? How does that change anything? Knowledge avails you not. That's strange. So I mean, do these doors take me to different places depending on what colour their glowing symbol is? Alright, we're going to head towards some serious confusion now. Just to try to understand what this all means. I'm pretty sure this is one of those like as soon as you type into Google Final Fantasy 12 and the letter F it will say floor 66 of all the people that have got stuck not been able to get past floor 66. I probably need to pay more attention to those inscriptions but I mean all I can think of is that there was one door that was sealed from a particular side. I mean does that mean anything? Does that have any value? I don't know. Okay, so I seem to be stuck between floor 64 and 66. I, tr I did not try to go through that door while the Altar of Wealth was activated. It said wealth. It says something about wealth. If that's what you seek, then don't bother. Do I lose all my gill? Wealth avails you not. Characters cannot use items, that's interesting. Let me read these inscriptions one more time. When you go through the Altar of Knowledge, it doesn't say anything in terms of you're not allowed to use this or whatever. Maybe you stop gaining experience or something. Well, 